Hello and welcome to another Friday cast. This time a Red Alert Global League match uh, between Kazu and ABC, which is the final uh, match being played in the Minions Division of the Global League. Uh, now this is a match I have been looking forward to for a very long time because this match will essentially uh, decide upon who is going to be uh, ending up in the first, second and third position uh, of the Minions Division. Uh, including myself, uh, who is also competing for the top spot. Uh, it's going to be completely decided by this match between Kazu and ABC, which have been doing phenomenally in the Minions Division this season. So, uh, this game is uh, the first match of this matchup. Uh, its, uh, its match map has been decided by ABC, which is a uh, contributor and developer for the OpenRA project. Uh, he's going to play as France this time around. And he's playing, of course, against Kazu, who's been um, uh, taking the Minions Division by storm. Uh, not losing uh, many games at all. I think he's just lost uh, uh, two matches this uh, season. And ABC has only lost, I think, only once. And that was against me. So uh, that was um, uh, me playing against ABC. We did a 1-1. And me playing against Kazu was 1-1. So the, the, the stats really uh, was... Uh, really <laughs> a really close one uh, this map has been decided by ABC of course it's uh, called the uh, behind the veil one versus one so uh, I'm curious to see why ABC chose this map uh, he might be more comfortable on chalky maps rather on open maps because Kazu he is a beast playing these open maps he uh, he uh, is very active with units and his uh, he is uh, he is uh, expansions and he's taking map control very decisively. Look at what he's doing right now. This is a, this is a very good move. He's just walling off this area to just avoid these sneak attacks, these sneak rushes behind the base, and fortifying the only entrance into his main base with the pillbox. Very safe. Uh, now there's of course four oil derricks on the map, and you would expect uh, both players to take their uh, two oil derricks. And here comes the ranger out uh, to. Um, to uh, you know, scout a little bit and possibly take out the opponent's engineer, but you can see that they both uh, uh, succeeded in taking the oil lyrics there. Um, as for build orders, I would expect more or less the same from both players, but you can see that Kazu is uh, much earlier out on this uh, uh, second expansion, which is being scouted by Kuzu right away. And uh, oh, of course, you can see that Jazz has been spectating this match. This is not a live cast, this is a cast from a replay and I, I have been trying to get the spoilers off this match uh, until I can uh, properly uh, cast it um, as I was unavailable, unavailable when the match was actually played. Uh, now uh, ABC is actually uh, building up a little bit more around his uh, main base before he's moving out. He has the War Factory all the way to the left, which I haven't really seen before. It's going to take a while for... Uh, uh, for units to get to the middle of the field uh, in the late game, but you know currently it, it's it's okay. He has four harvesters on his main site, and uh, so does Kazu. But Kazu, as I said, already expanded to this, so he's got like five harvesters now. One is harvesting the uh, expansion, and uh, ABC hasn't got up there yet with only four harvester. However, there are two oilers for both players, so they should both have a very decent economy. And, uh, you know, Kazu might just uh, simply um, uh, float a little bit because of this. Uh, this is a lot of, a lot of money <laughs> to, uh, to get in the, uh, in the early game. Um, however, uh, it, he sold off his uh, pillbox right there. I guess he felt he didn't need it anymore. He is perfectly safe. There's, he don't expect anything to come through. So it just remains to be seen what's going on uh, for the mid game. I already see that ABC has not built his service depot yet. He has gone for a nice economy startup, but uh, he himself he is uh, he's actually floating like a madman. He is currently <laughs> floating uh, pretty heavily, and so is Kazu. It looks like they're both just, just trying to uh, work themselves into the light game. So it's kind of uh, kind of baffling to see. Um, See this uh, relatively passive opener. Um, okay, nice crush by the ABC uh, light tanks, which is going to spot this uh, uh, construction yard. 
he could have gone into the uh, <laughs> into the proximity of the construction and then delay the uh, uh, delay the deployment. But anyway, he he scouts the he scouts the base. Now this is the second construction node for Kazoo. Uh, ABC still has not built his service depot. I'm kind of worried for him that way. He's building a radar dome, which is uh, uh, not necessarily the most favorable favorable thing to do. Uh, this might be part of a, uh, a build plan that ABC has uh, has, uh, has uh, prepared before the match. He definitely know, knows the map well, so it looks like he has some sort of plan set for this uh, map. Uh, but it's going to be very delayed on his expansion, so, uh, you know, uh, and, you know, uh, the service depot, of course, is going to prevent him from building any medium tanks. Uh, he's building some artilleries, but look at Kazoo here. He is building for the most, uh, uh, more ordinary opener with the with the medium tanks after the expansion. And uh, uh, if APC cannot run down these uh, infantry blobs with the with the artillery properly, uh, it's going to be tr tr terrible for APC. I am not sure how he's going to deal with this army. Uh, well, he's going to be safe behind the turret, but uh, APC is going to have the map control. We'll take out the old Eric right away uh, with no no effective opposition might get a few shells over the artillery into the uh, infantry Ooh, okay uh, another one and that's going to hit a little bit better no it's not actually force firing so that's unfortunately not happening here comes the hind's going to provide a vision it's going to be able to push uh, medium tank back medium tanks uh, kasu's medium tank advantage uh, is going to be a very nice thing for him he also walled off his left side which is going to uh, making him able to focus on the middle. Um, ABC uh, still is not producing a service depot. Is it taking up? With the anti air gun, it could be taking up possibly. It's going to move its original MCV to the expansion. He does have the Heinz to spot for the army, but you know, if this army were to uh, decisively move towards the expansion of uh, of ABC, he might just be uh, in trouble. ABC has, uh, excuse me, Kazu has also taken up the Raider Dome a little bit later, but I think that's, uh, I think that might be a better choice uh, in general, uh, because uh, you, you know you're going to have your main army to be able to, to take control of the middle of the map and establish the artillery barrage uh, uh, wherever he wants. Uh, ABC, on the other hand, he can't really move out of his uh, main base. He's going to be stuck behind the, the turret and defensive structures, and uh, you know his hide's going to provide the visibility. Uh, but it doesn't look comfortable enough to move out to the map. Uh, so, yeah. Kazu still just uh, staying behind uh, and uh, just keeps keeps on his production. He's going to mix in like one or two artillery in with his army. And that's going to be a very, uh, very dangerous uh, army to uh, to meet on the ground for ABC. Uh, ABC, ABC is actually moving out now. And it's going to take out the oil there. That's, that's uh, pretty good. Um, currently one hind uh, for Kazu might... Be looking to pop uh, a couple of artillery here. Uh, um, yeah, I think uh, ABC. What he wants to do, he, he needs at least one hind uh, together with his artillery, so that the rocket soldier can actually fire uh, a much longer range. Because look at this, he's going to pop up one, possibly two, two artillery without any contestants. But now, uh, oh, took down three and stays alive. That's that's a huge blow to ABC. Uh, what you want to do is uh, make. <laughs> It's very hard to do because the artillery are very slow, but you generally want to have your uh, artillery very close to your rocket soldiers. And the provision uh, provided by the Heinz is going to be able to get the rocket soldiers to fire off the Heinz uh, of the opponent. Uh, now uh, ABC is in a bit of a trouble. If uh, <laughs> if just a couple of these infantry is hit with a decent artillery shot for Kazu, Kazu could pretty much just move into the middle of the map. Uh, currently, it's just moving back. But look at the look at the minimum tank count here. Uh, Kazu can always like he has like the push power uh, with this medium tank. Uh, the, the the fleet of Heinz for, for ABC shouldn't do that much, and uh, ABC currently building light tanks for for uh, infantry support. I guess it he really looks to want to do some damage and it's going to take a power plant. Um, but I. I don't know. I don't see this working actually uh, for ABC. A lot of infantry um, for Kazu. Oh, he's going to sell. He's going to sell the wall. It looks like. And uh, well, f 
fortunately for RBC, there is actually a uh, an infantry there to spot, so he should be able to see this coming. Uh, ABC is moving forward now. Oh, uh, my pass will take on the service depot. That's going to mean no more uh, medium tanks for now. But okay, here comes the medium tanks moving in. There's no infantry for Karasu, but still, uh, there's a couple of pillboxes there. And some infantry is high come up. Karasu might lose a couple of uh, medium tanks here. But in general, yeah, look at this. Just crush, crush through the entire uh, <laughs> infantry field by like nothing. All the rocket soldiers are gone. You can just hunt down the artillery or just push them all the way to the back. In the meantime, uh, Kazu is uh, going for the main base of Kazu. Uh, excuse me, ABC. And with this infantry blob here, uh, might do some damage. ABC uh, could uh, easily eliminate this with his artillery, but they, they need they need support of the infantry uh, since he could just fear Kazu just moving in and just kill off all the artillery. This is the problem with the artillery build for uh, for for a player in which you will be uh, way less mobile. Here comes the here comes the push. But look look at this. There's no there's no anti air for this artillery. And uh, let's see, ADC losing like one, one losing uh, one, one behind there. Uh, it doesn't look like Kazu is actually looking, uh, or he can't really see uh, the unsupported uh, unsupported artillery. Here comes ABC, he's going to move towards uh, the main base of, um, of Kazu. He, Kazu will be able to see this uh, long before. Oh shit, I forgot, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't follow the medium tanks of uh, Kazu. He's going to move into the uh, middle here, taking out. Yeah, possible? Yeah, most likely take out the construction yard. There are no heavy hitters against the medium tanks. They, they will take down this construction yard easily. And I was going to say that uh, ABC might take down and come in here, but that's going to take too long. And there's relatively sm little assets left for uh, ABC to take out there. Kazu is completely eliminating the expansion of uh, ABC, which could be a very strong blow against him. Uh, in the process, uh, Kazu loses uh, quite a lot of, uh, of medium tanks here. And you can see all this infantry is not going to get much value out of this uh, this insurgency. Uh, looks like it, all of the infantry is just going to be pushed. Oh, ABC is just calling the game. He lost his expansion, and if, if he probably feels like his uh, his asses are just too thin for the game. Actually, the game looks more, much more close uh, closer than uh, than uh, he might be expecting. All right, I'm back. Uh, what happened is the game actually crashed with the, with the score screen. Uh, which sometimes happen when uh, when I record uh, the replays and it uh, the game ends. However, uh, yeah, ABC is uh, re giving up uh, the game uh, to uh, to Kazu after a relatively even match uh, with uh, some uh, some differences in in strategy. Uh, however, that does mean that uh, uh, Kazu is winning a guest game, and um, that means. Uh, that I'm actually knocked out of of the uh, of the first uh, first position. That because that means currently Kazu has, I believe, he does have uh, the equal points uh, of uh, myself, or was it ABC? Regardless, uh, it's going to be up to uh, Kazu to win the next game. I think if, if if ABC is winning the next game, then he will take the first place. If Kazu wins the next game, then he will take the first place. And uh, curiously, whatever happens is that I will go on the second place, whatever happens. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a closer look into that uh, for after the games. Hello and welcome back to the second match between uh, Kazu and ABCD EFG30. Uh, I went to check the league tables and indeed um, with the uh, point taken by Kazu in the first game they are both on 15 points each uh, now I am still in the first place uh, with 16 points but regardless what happens here if uh, Kazu wins this match then he's gonna be on 16 points same as me but with a higher guest count and on the other side if uh, ABC were to take this uh, game uh, he already had the better uh, guest count so he's gonna take the first uh, first game so, um, uh, this is essentially the Minions Division Finals, guys. Uh, the winner of this will receive a $40 uh, prize. Uh, not bad for a, uh, for a second tier division in the Global League. And the second place winner will take the $10 prize. Like a minor, minor, s small prize, but, you know, kind of decent for a kind of second tier uh, division, in my opinion. Very nice here. This is, of course, sidestep. This map was picked by Kazoo. 
He's going to play as Russia this time. Oh, interesting. And he's going to play against Kazu's Ukraine. So a Soviet local uh, local dispute here between uh, Russia and Ukraine. Very interesting. Kazu's taking out that dog. So he's... Uh, his engineer has a clear path towards that oil derrick. Meanwhile, Kasu is taking his oil order. order. <laughs> I can't even speak anymore. <laughs> He's taking his own oil derrick. His order. What the hell is that? And uh, they are both uh, pretty much expanding uh, to both their oil, their oil patches. Yes. So uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, now this uh, is the kind of map which Kasu will be a. Uh, a dangerous uh, player on uh, because of his playstyle, which is very, uh, uh, very expansive, very, uh, very active. And uh, ABC is also pretty good at uh, at uh, these uh, big open maps as well. But I'm curious as to what strategy he's going to go for. I hope for his tech, he's going to go for a more standard opening with the uh, service depot because uh, if one in in this map, if two um, equally aggressive players or just good players are going for <coughs> going against each other uh, if one player goes for the Raider Dome tech then he uh, in in the very most cases simply just loses uh, because of the uh, the strength of the medium tank army and uh, just the tank army and of course the uh, service depot unlocks the expansions which you can see here the expansions uh, of uh, you know the, on this map uh, it's pretty far off the original base, as so we can see here. Uh, both ABC and um, and uh, Kazu is kind of sending out like spotters all over the map just to see, try to try to get a feel of um, when their opponent will be uh, expanding later on. Here is uh, ABC's uh, scouting APC, uh, but uh, Kazu uh, actually hasn't bothered to uh, even produce an uh, a uh, APC for his faction. He's going to be go completely greedy and build those those uh, ore trucks. Now that means his engineer is uh, yeah, still up at the at the other. Here comes the ABC's ABC is going to go for the classic uh, NG cap, in which he will cancel out the production of uh, of Kasu uh, sooner or later. Uh, looks like he's first going to scout a little bit around the, and just uh, have a look. It's going to come in from like a weird angle, I presume. I'm not sure. Wait, the engineer is actually. Doesn't appear to be right in there at all. Where is the engineer? It looks like it might have been killed off earlier. Well, here, anyways, anyway, here comes the APC. Uh, He's just going to scout a little bit more. And uh, Kasu's going to be more than ready for this. And is actually being scouted <laughs> um, uh, while uh, prepping a flame tower, flamethrower rush. Uh, so that's <laughs> that's a super super good scout for APC. He ABC Jesus. The ABC's APC did a good job there in scouting. He's going to be easily prepared for this rush with a Tesla coil. There's no defense against uh, this rush towards the service depot and war factory. And also the service depot before the second refinery towards that uh, that ore placement. This is, uh, well, losing that uh, APC with the flamethrowers. <laughs> That's a big loss for uh, for Katsu, uh, actually, because uh, those, uh, uh, those flamethrowers cost uh, 300 a piece, that was like 1500, plus the APC cost like what, uh, 700, I believe, so that's like 2200 uh, lost, but uh, Kazu has been heavily focusing on the Harvester's early game, so it's going to be fine uh, for now, getting a flag truck for whatever reason, uh, he might he might you know, think that there's a, there's a chance APC is going for uh, Raider on first, but we can see that uh, this is not the case. Uh, but again, uh, let's see, five harvesters uh, to five. So it appears that uh, APC, ABC built that uh, ore refinery towards um, towards the first ore patch and then sold it. Now here comes a small uh, squad just to check the expansion of uh, ABC. He might uh, want to uh, catch something off guard. He's going to get this army with the flag truck. Although it's kind of frail, it's going to help out this uh, infantry to get the additional uh, vision and also get the... Um, uh, Profitable, <laughs> should I say, engagement here. Uh, although it's uh, kind of interesting enough, uh, the, uh, the remaining infantry actually was in a good position. Um, <coughs> I'm going with the APC. That's ah, oh, it's, it's it, it was a nice crush, but I don't like losing it. Um, so uh, here's the expansion of uh, expansion MCV of uh, 
uh, of uh, of uh, ABC. Well, all this, all this uh, initials is kind of confusing me up. However, this is Kazu's expansion, but he also has started his tank build. This is uh, something that uh, ABC needs to do uh, way more quickly in, uh, in this matchup. You need to start the production of uh, tanks relatively early. If you're not producing an MCV, you need to produce uh, tanks. Uh, it looks like he's going to produce uh, APCs. Now, APCs can also work against uh, infantry crushes uh, with, uh, with engagements and such. But in order for that to work, you need to know two things. You need to know where the opponent's army is, and uh, of course you need to scout, uh, and uh, you, know, you need to have infantry. Yeah, that's actually two points, actually. You need to scout, and you need to have uh, infantry with this. You can't really just rely on APCs alone. Uh, just this small squad here with two heavy tanks is a very, very dangerous early, uh, early composition, especially that it is, it's not countered. And I, I love the pathing of Kasu here. This is something I, I love to do, just going um, undetected, like in between the expansion and the original base of the opponent. It's going to stay here. It's going to be scouted here, uh, looks like, with the APC, which is running around um, for ABC. It's going to find it, and uh, looks, yeah, it's going to be find it and be prepared for uh, for the defense, especially with the Tesla coil. So that's, that's good for APC. Now Kasu, he knows that he was scouted, so he looks just for the expansion. But then he's going to move off for, uh, probably just go back and support uh, his own base. Ooh, Kazu is actually going to capture this area. I was going to uh, just make a comment on that, is that uh, ABC actually uh, expanded firstly to his south. Uh, the problem with that is there's just one ore mine there. So in the later game, uh, he's going to have less ore income than Kazu, for example, which has two. Now initially that's not going to do that much, but uh, you know, normally you do have the second expansion with more more defenses and um, you know more safely set up than the than the uh, than the next one. So it means that this one will be better defended than this one, which doesn't make sense because this one for ABC is much easier to defend and has a higher value than the southern expansion. Uh, however, uh, ABC is uh, he he could possibly spot the MCV moving, but he probably didn't see it because currently he's just moving towards the main base. Uh, he doesn't really have an idea of what's going on in the front of him, so this this is terrible. <laughs> move, yeah. Okay, so this happens, and ABC is just gonna have to move back. There's no, there's no value in engaging this blindly at all. At least they have the heavy tanks, and they're moving back. This is a good idea. You can just, uh, when you're in this situation, you can just move, uh, let your infantry stay to just tank for your heavy tanks and just escape with them. Uh, the tank count is uh, extremely important uh, for both players. Currently, Kasu is getting a yak. Oh wait, wait, no. Yeah, yeah. Kasu is getting a yak. So he's like, he, his uh, overall uh, map control is like superb to um, to Kasu. Kasu mightn't have the same. Ah, oh, and no. And the heavy tanks. Uh, one of the heavy tanks goes down very quickly. And look at this blob. There's no. There's no <laughs> way for Kasu. Excuse me, ABC to stop this easily. It's going to have to retreat back to the uh, Tesla coil. Here comes an attack from behind as well. Kasu could actually go in here and use that as a distraction and moving with the with the infantry blob as they have really no counter. Uh, but Kasu looks to be currently very happy about just um, just stopping Kazu, uh, stopping ABC from, uh, from taking that area. Now this is what Kasu does very often. He moves his MCV very actively. He's going to use this, uh, this uh, MCV to uh, for to uh, strengthen his uh, northern position, especially knowing that Kasu is uh, kind of in trouble, <laughs> uh, losing the control of the northern his northern part of the map. Kasu is going to have to react this, uh, to this uh, very efficiently. Oh, losing that yak is terrible. Uh, he needed that yak for vision towards uh, for his units to know when to engage, and this is going to give Kazu the time he to take up to place up additional defensive structures. And, uh, uh, yeah, look at it. At the same time, he has full control on his left side. All of Kasu's assets is on his main base to defend, but he's, you know, completely surrounded. Kasu taking, like, both of the valuable expansions. It's gonna... Ooh, great, yeah, crash, actually. Um, but still, Kazu will be outproducing him in the long run, so uh, uh, ABC needs to get this working for him. Uh, very soon. Uh, ABC actually does have a very interesting army here. He could actually push in uh, now, uh, if ever, 
But it's gonna need... Oh god, that was Kazoo's air crash, like... <laughs> right back at your ABC set. Um, not bad, not mad. This is the time to, for ABC to move in if he wants to remove this area at all, I think. Oh god, look at this. Uh, Kazu um, didn't really enforce this, uh, this base. Kazu doesn't really have to push further in towards ABC, but ABC is kind of forced to um, to uh, take a position on this uh, on this forward expansion. Meanwhile, Kazu is just prepping this uh, this uh, small army is going, is going to be taking care of this uh, expansion for ABC. Now, this of course wouldn't happen if ABC were to expand to this more safe area up to the north. And uh, so you can see the the, the the area around the main base, I mean the expansion of ABC, is so, so valuable, uh, so vulnerable to so many places on um, uh, on the map. Uh, it's going to lose the uh, construction line, but it looks like it's going to save his radar dome, which I'm sure that ABC really needs to, <laughs> really needs to do. ABC really, he, he lost his expansion there, but it feels to me like if he wants to have a chance into the late game, uh, oh wow, we actually saved uh, the, the MCV actually. Um, ABC needs to figure out how to push this thing off the map without losing too much stuff, uh, because uh, this is this is kind of the expansion that you you, you kind of can feel safe uh, uh, moving away from. As you can move walls there and stuff. Uh, ABC keeps focusing down on this place. He does have a radar dome there, but he might, you know, he might want to sell it off and just uh, just. Uh, just focus on this, uh, but uh, Kazu is just taking the opportunity immediately. This is why he is so dangerous. Kazu is extremely active on on uh, the uh, positional gameplay uh, with your opponents. That is this is why he, he won so many games as well. Is that he, he every opportunity he gets to claim a part of the map, he's going to take, and it's going to put pressure on you uh, very fast. Here comes the here comes the push to just clean up the rest of the uh, the base of ABC. And uh, ABC in retaliation is going to just do a a kind of uh, very 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 necessary attack upon uh, Kazu. He could take down a lot of the tech uh, if he's very quick, but it's going to take down. He should take down the barracks. He should take down the flat and should quickly uh, try to do as much damage to the units as well. Taking down the uh, the MCV is really negligible at this point. He's going to have to try to do some damage against. Uh, I don't know to be honest. And eventually, maybe pull back. Uh, like this attack didn't really do much towards uh, Kazu. The fact is, Kazu has him surrounded by all sides. And with this army going down, it really looks like Kazu is going to take a huge lockdown on ABC. ABC is completely uh, nerfed to this position exclusively. Yeah, look at this. Look at this difference. Look at ABC. He is completely, um, completely being surrounded here. And uh, Kazu, on the other hand, is uh, well, pretty much everywhere. And Kazu probably will take down this uh, tech center. I guess that's a nice move in order to get the uh, the nuke truck. Bye bye <laughs> tech center. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, the uh, the income for ABC is not really there to support that tech. And uh, that could be a great uh, tactic to do earlier on. Yeah, he realizes he's in a, he's in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> Literally, he's in a pickle. He's been uh, he's been boxed in, put in a put in the glass, and the uh, the um, yeah, he's been uh, contained here heavily. He's been pickled by for the picking. Um, yeah, uh, his his defensive position is uh, is pretty strong, I guess. Uh, he's going to try to expand back to this position here. That's only like a reasonable expansion that you can. Uh, can expect uh, ABC to get at this point, but you know, as long uh, the longer the game goes, uh, Kazu just looks to uh, you know, keep on, keep on the um, the kind of uh, the siege of ABC and try to force ABC to do more uh, pro more uh, disfavorable engagements. And in the meantime, just gonna do this, gonna do the sneak attacks, gonna take on the service depot. Bye bye. Uh, the Riddle Dome, of course, is, is knocked out, so... Uh, there's... With the exception of the airfield, there's no tech left. And I... I, <laughs> uh, I, uh, I don't see any way for ABC to come back at this point, unfortunately. Um, so that means, uh, I think... That...
means... Oh, yeah. That's going to mean that Kazoo is going to take the first... Uh, I'm just going to call it, guys. I'm sorry. I Oh! <laughs> what a beautiful power drop. Well, <laughs> that was that was a really golden gem of the end of the game, gotta say. Uh, <laughs> but I think it's it's I think it's fair to say that Kasu looks to be taking the first place and the forty dollar first prize for the minions division. Um, ABC unfortunately did not uh, losing two points to Kasu this game. It's going to give him uh, three losses, and it's going to put him behind me with one point. So that means I'm going to be in the second second place in the minutes division and then Kazoo will uh, take down the the um, excuse me ABC will take down the third although you know ABC is doing a heroic uh, heroic attack here but uh, it doesn't really affect the game for Kazoo he, he doesn't really need this base at all at this time all he needs to do is just prevent uh, ABC from expanding and the game is uh, pretty much his so let's see what he's doing this this is actually just Kazoo's actually going to lose a lot of these tanks in this way. <laughs> it starts just yeah, crashing all his yaks into this, uh, this infantry blob. It's kind of funny. It's not working. <laughs> He's just going to lose his uh, yaks, uh, yaks uh, instead. Kazoo is always... Um, you know, he's, he's going to take uh, all the favorable engagements uh, as he can. But it looks like he's kind of... Kind of just like uh, playing, playing a little bit of this... Uh, at this moment, I mean, of course, he's gonna. He's, he really wants to win the game, uh, but at this point, I uh, probably don't see himself losing. Another thing that Kazu uh, hasn't been doing is actually getting his uh, tech center up for the um, for the shock troopers and the and the Tesla tanks. Not that they not that he really needed this in uh, in the middle of the game. He certainly did well with uh, just uh, the, the heavy tank playing infantry. Doesn't really need uh, Tesla coils, uh, excuse me, Tesla tanks and shockies uh, to win the match. Uh, but at this point, you know, he can do whatever he wants. He might as well just do it. Just for the hell of it. He's gonna kill off, uh, I think that's the last MCV of APC. And uh, yeah, just a single ore refinery left for, uh, for ABC now. <laughs> ABC is up here just finally cleaning out this expansion, which, which should have been done. Uh, 10 minutes ago and um, yeah just gonna have like the, the the fun endings here we haven't seen the GG yet but you know both players uh, pretty much know that this game is over and they're just gonna have just, just gonna have their fun in the end so yeah I can talk a little bit about, about the league uh, at this point I believe um, uh, when this video is gonna be published on YouTube uh, there might or might not be still two matches left in the Masters Division. This is the final matches of the league that has been delayed to this week. It's Five Aces versus Class and Five Aces versus Medium Tech. And uh, coincidentally, that's also going to decide on uh, which uh, of Merkel the Ray and Five Aces is going to take the first position and the $145 uh, as the first uh, as the first position price in the Masters Division. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm not sure um, uh, how you guys are going to see it. You can definitely um, follow, um, you can check the um, uh, video description. You will find links to the replays there. And they're all kind of sorted out in the different uh, rounds. And uh, if you also go to the Slackner stuff forum, you will also see in the result tab, I will, I will link directly to the thread. You will see all the fixtures there. So if, you like, if you're interest, interested to see certain players in the in the tables of either master minions or uh, recruit division you can just look them up there and find the matches so uh, i think that's about like uh, uh about a hundred matches uh, of lower divisions but certainly we had quite a good amount of good matches uh during this uh during this first season <laughs> yeah man uh, V2S is something that um, we haven't seen uh, like uh, too much uh, during the meta in the in the uh, Masters Division, I believe. But in the Minus Division, I've seen a lot of V2S plays uh, being used as a effective means. Is that I think the, the most uh, well, the general reason for that is that V2S are ridiculously hard to to cut to to use against a very strong player. 
So like any, but you know, any any good engagement you can get from the uh, V2s uh, will be golden if you can get it. But you know, the, the problem is it's a very expensive tech route. So uh, you know, normally you want to have the heavy tanks uh, possibly together with the flak trucks because at the time you have the V2s, uh, your opponent could uh, may or may not have the radar on tech itself, and the, the, the V2s are very easy to pick off, just like the artillery, of course. All right, there goes the final buildings of APC. ABC. <laughs> There's the APC. It's gonna kill off APs. ABC. So we didn't see much of uh, ABCs, APCs. But regardless, this is how the game went. For fun, we're going to last. Now there might be a crash right when the score screen comes up. This, this, this is something that happens to me uh, when, um, when I. Um, when I record games uh, with fraps and the score screen duck comes up and it presses. There you go, GG! Or never mind. <laughs> never mind. Oh, you know what? Uh, this is something exactly ABC did against me is that um, I um, I believe I lost to, um, to ABC on. Um, was it Forest Path? Oh, regardless, here's the GG. And he might give up. No, 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 he's not going to give up. He's going to troll. Uh, I lost to ABC on, I think it was uh, Forest Path. Regardless, um, I, I was playing, I, w I was winning against ABC on this very map, on Sidestep. And uh, he ended up getting his uh, <laughs> transport <laughs> into the ocean somehow. But uh, this time it's on the bottom right with me. It was the top left. And I actually didn't believe that he got his transport out on the field. Uh, like, do you bother to see this? Yeah, why not? Let's just, let's just have some fun with this. So that, you know, that's... <laughs> that's uh, something that I like to do. I mean, the game is already over, you just like to, to fool around a bit. Now, obviously, if Kasu were, were to quit this game at this moment, although it's not really technically in the rules of the league, but if Kasu were to um, quit this game as of this this very moment, then, uh, then still, of course, um, Kasu would be granted the point. They're just having their fun. And <laughs> there is the final structure that's going to end the game is in this transport. It's an MCV uh, together with a couple of infantry, I guess? No, it's actually just the MCV there. I'm not sure if uh, Kasu knows about it. Well, let's find out. It's going to kill the <laughs> oil lyric. And I'm like, uh huh, okay. And I can see on the counter there, I'll, I will. I will have this uh, hidden in the in the video production so that you know nothing is really s spoiled if you maximize the uh, YouTube videos uh, to full screen so you don't see the timer or regardless. Uh, but this tells me that Kasu is going to spend at least some time looking for the final structure. He doesn't know about it. They actually flew over there with the Yak earlier. So let's just uh, fast forward a little bit. It's going to check all the corners. Open them up. <laughs> Where could it be? <laughs> and he's going from one edge to the other. Maybe just expecting him to be there. Let's see what they're talking about. I'll send him a message. Getting up to the replace. <laughs> All right, what was up now? Uh, <laughs> and we we encountered again another crash of the game. Um, but regardless, what I was going to say is that um, uh, big. Uh, Big kudos to uh, Kazu, congratulations for that first uh, position in the minions division. It's definitely deserved. He has been playing uh, ferociously. He's also been practicing very hard. He's been playing in the uh, OpenRA Club, which is a uh, website affiliated with uh, some of the, the servers uh, which are available in the multiplayer lobby. Uh, these servers record and put your numbers up on a website called uh, OpenRA Club. I will link it in the description, but uh, uh, that's uh, that's a place where you can uh, play uh, competitive, competitively and uh, being ranked a little bit. And Kazu has been crushing that uh, that uh, contest uh, by a by a mile. Uh, so here we go. He just uh, scouted the last uh, transport vehicle of uh, ABC, but ABC also uh, big kudos to him. I. Uh, Honestly, didn't expect him to do this well. He's been doing greatly. He's been crushing. Um, he's been crushing left and right in the in the league as well. He's providing some really, really uh, 
uh, really great games uh, against um, uh, all these opponents uh, in the in the division. And so ABC and Kazoo, uh, as well as myself, and um, together with um, Ham and Testosterone Rex, is going to join up in the Masters division next season. And I believe that's going to provide a pretty explosive matchups uh, matchup during the uh, during the next season's Master Division. Uh, great players and uh, just uh, amazing human beings.